Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Tapalapa. Local bread similar to French baguettes, commonly used to make sandwiches with various fillings. Tapalapa is a popular local bread in Gambia that is similar to French baguettes in shape and texture. It is a beloved street food and an essential part of Gambian cuisine. Tapalapa is not only enjoyed on its own but also commonly used to make sandwiches filled with various ingredients. Here's an overview of tapalapa. Shape and texture. Tapalapa is long and slender, with a crispy crust and a soft, chewy interior. The crust is usually thin and golden brown, while the inside is light and airy. Ingredients. The main ingredients used to make tapalapa are flour, water, yeast, salt, and sometimes a little sugar. It is traditionally made with all-purpose or bread flour, which contributes to its soft yet crusty texture. Preparation. The dough for tapalapa is mixed and kneaded until it becomes smooth and elastic. It is then left to rise, allowing the yeast to leaven the dough and create air pockets that result in the bread's characteristic lightness. Baking. After the dough has risen, it is shaped into long, narrow loaves and slashed on top before being baked in a hot oven. The slashing helps control the bread's expansion during baking, and it also creates the distinct pattern on the crust. Availability. Tapalapa is widely available in Gambia and can be found at bakeries, markets, and street food stalls throughout the country. It is commonly sold by street vendors and is enjoyed by both locals and visitors. Use in sandwiches. One of the popular ways to enjoy tapalapa is by using it to make sandwiches, known as tapalapa sandwiches. Common fillings include grilled meat, fish, vegetables, eggs, cheese, and various sauces or condiments. Tapalapa's crusty exterior and soft interior make it a perfect bread for sandwiches, providing a delightful contrast in textures. Its popularity as a street food and its use in making sandwiches highlight its importance in Gambian culinary culture, offering a satisfying and flavorful option for locals and tourists alike. Fish Yasa Grilled fish marinated in a tangy and spicy sauce made with onions, lemon, and mustard. Fish yassa is a flavorful and tangy fish dish that is a specialty of West African cuisine, particularly popular in Senegal and Gambia. It is a delicious way to prepare fish, infusing it with the vibrant flavors of the yassa marinade, which is made with onions, lemon or lime juice, mustard, and various spices. Here's an overview of how fish yassa is typically prepared. Fish. The main ingredient, as the name suggests, is fish. Common types of fish used in fish yassa include whole fish, fish fillets, or fish steaks such as tilapia, sea bass, or red snapper. Yassa marinade. The fish is marinated in the yassa sauce, which is made by mixing sliced onions, lemon or lime juice, mustard, vegetable oil, vinegar, and a blend of spices. The key to the yassa marinade's unique taste is the combination of tangy citrus, pungent mustard, and aromatic spices. Marinating. The fish is thoroughly coated with the yassa marinade and left to marinate for several hours or even overnight. This allows the flavors to penetrate the fish, resulting in a delicious and succulent dish. Grilling or pan frying. After marinating, the fish is typically grilled over an open flame or pan fried until it is cooked through and has a slightly charred and flavorful exterior. Serving. Fish yassa is served hot and is often accompanied by a generous portion of the onions and marinade from the yassa sauce. It is commonly served with steamed rice, couscous, or bread, and sometimes with side dishes like salad or vegetables. Variations. While fish is the classic choice for fish yassa, variations of this dish can also be made with other proteins like chicken or beef. Fish yassa is a favorite dish in Gambia and other West African countries, appreciated for its tangy and aromatic flavors. It is often served during special occasions, gatherings, and family celebrations, showcasing the region's vibrant culinary heritage and the art of transforming simple ingredients into a delectable and memorable dish. Benechin fish balls. Deep-fried fish balls made from minced fish mixed with spices and other ingredients. Benechin fish balls are a popular street food snack in Gambia, made from minced fish mixed with spices and other ingredients. These flavorful fish balls are often enjoyed as a quick and tasty treat by locals and visitors alike. Here's an overview of how Benechin fish balls are typically prepared. Fish. The main ingredient, of course, is fish. Fresh fish, such as tilapia or catfish, is commonly used for making the fish balls. The fish is thoroughly cleaned and deboned. Minced fish. The cleaned fish is finely minced or ground into a paste-like consistency. 
This can be achieved by using a food processor or chopping the fish finely by hand. Seasonings and spices. The minced fish is then mixed with a blend of spices and seasonings to add flavor. Common ingredients used for seasoning may include garlic, ginger, onions, parsley, chili pepper, and sometimes breadcrumbs or flour as a binding agent. Shaping. The seasoned fish mixture is shaped into small, bite-sized balls. The balls are usually rolled between the palms to achieve a smooth and uniform shape. Frying. The fish balls are deep-fried in hot oil until they are golden brown and cooked through. Frying gives the fish balls a crispy exterior while keeping the inside moist and flavorful. Serving. Benechin fish balls are typically served hot and can be enjoyed on their own as a snack or appetizer. They are often served with a dipping sauce or spicy condiment for added flavor. Benechin fish balls are a delightful and portable street food option that showcases the abundance of fresh seafood in Gambia. Whether enjoyed as a quick snack while on the go or as a tasty addition to a larger meal, these fish balls offer a burst of flavors that capture the essence of Gambian street food culture. Cow foot soup. A hearty soup made with cow feet, vegetables, and spices. Cow foot soup is a hearty and flavorful dish that is popular in several African countries, including Gambia. It is a delicacy that showcases the resourcefulness of African cuisine, as it makes use of a less commonly consumed part of the cow to create a delicious and nourishing soup. Here's an overview of how cow foot soup is typically prepared. Cow foot. As the name suggests, the main ingredient of the soup is cow foot, which is thoroughly cleaned and chopped into manageable pieces. The foot contains gelatinous and collagen-rich connective tissues that lend a unique and satisfying texture to the soup. Seasonings and vegetables. The cow foot is simmered in a flavorful broth made from a variety of seasonings and spices. Common ingredients used for seasoning include onions, garlic, ginger, thyme, bay leaves, and various aromatic spices. Cooking process. Cow foot soup is usually prepared using slow cooking methods, such as simmering on the stovetop or cooking in a pressure cooker. The slow cooking allows the flavors to meld, and it also helps to tenderize the tough connective tissues in the cow foot. Additional ingredients. To enhance the taste and nutritional value, cow foot soup may also include a variety of vegetables such as carrots, potatoes, cabbage, and green beans. Serving. Once the soup is cooked, it is typically served hot and may be accompanied by rice, fufu, or other starchy side dishes. The tender cow foot and flavorful broth create a comforting and satisfying meal. Cow foot soup is a beloved dish in Gambia and other parts of Africa, enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. It is often served during special occasions, gatherings, and celebrations, as it represents a dish that brings people together to share a delicious and nourishing meal. The rich and hearty flavors of cow foot soup make it a cherished part of the culinary traditions in the region. Wanjo Juice A refreshing hibiscus drink that is sweet and tart, often sold by street vendors. Wanjo Juice, also known as Bisap or Hibiscus Tea, is a popular and refreshing beverage enjoyed in Gambia and other West African countries. It is made from the calyxes of the hibiscus flower, scientifically known as Hibiscus sabdarifa. The drink is known for its vibrant red color and its tangy, sweet, and slightly tart flavor. Here's an overview of how wanjo juice is typically prepared. Hibiscus calyxes. The main ingredient of wanjo juice is the calyxes of the hibiscus flower. The calyxes are the reddish, fleshy part that surrounds the seed pod of the flower. They are harvested, dried, and then used to make the juice. Boiling. The dried hibiscus calyxes are boiled in water to extract their flavor and color. The water turns a deep red as the hibiscus releases its pigments. Sweetening. After boiling, the hibiscus infusion is sweetened with sugar or honey to balance the tartness of the hibiscus. Flavorings. Some variations of wanjo juice may include additional flavorings like ginger, cloves, or vanilla to add extra depth to the beverage. Serving. Wanjo juice is typically served chilled, over ice, and sometimes garnished with fresh mint leaves or slices of citrus fruit. Wanjo juice is a popular beverage during hot weather due to its refreshing and thirst-quenching qualities. It is also enjoyed as a natural alternative to sugary sodas and other commercial drinks. In addition to its delightful taste, wanjo juice is known for its potential health benefits, as hibiscus has been associated with various health-promoting properties, including antioxidant and blood pressure-lowering effects. In Gambia and other West African countries, wanjo juice is a beloved and culturally significant beverage. 
It is often served during social gatherings, celebrations, and family meals, offering a delicious and colorful addition to the region's culinary traditions.